Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. May 23rd. It's Thursday, the weekend, just around the corner. Hope you're having a good week. I know we are on BamaInsider.com. We continue our 19 for 19 today with who will be Alabama's toughest opponents this season. I've actually ranked the opponents 12 through 1. Did a lot of research, went back, looked at um, who's returning, who's not returning on Alabama's schedule. We're going to talk about that right now. And um, it, I'll, I'll be honest, it's kind of slow out there, right? I mean, it's like May, school's out, summer, it's getting hot. But don't worry. I mean, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep it coming on BamaInsider.com. Remember, hey, college students, if you're out there, hit me up for the promotion. We just dropped it. It's a $10 cover charge. So here it is. You sign up to BamaInsider.com for just $10, and you get the entire year for $10. Come on. $10. You got $10 on you. Um, give us a try at BamaInsider.com. We've all been a college student before, so hit us up. Hit me up for the college promo code. My email is Kyle at BamaInsider.com. If you want to get behind the paywall, if you're out of college and you have a job, hit me up at Kyle at BamaInsider.com as well. I will send you the exact link to go to the website to sign up for the free 30-day trial. Free 30 days. Come on. What do you have to lose? All right, so looking at Alabama's schedule, I'll be straightforward. I mean, this, I don't feel the schedule is that challenging, the regular season. Um, what do you think? Sound off in the comment box. Do you think Alabama's schedule is challenging? I know Feinbaum uh, recently you know, called out Alabama for having a weak schedule. I mean, it's, it's not like that's earth-shattering news. I mean, it's not a very challenging schedule. I mean, especially when you look at the front end of Alabama's schedule. And, um, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, they play Duke, for crying out loud, in the opener. I mean, hey, no disrespect to Duke, but, I mean, you're talking about Alabama returning 13 five-stars, returning uh, just an incredible amount of talent on both sides of the football. After losing in the championship game to Clemson, I mean, my goodness, I could see the spread against Duke being, what, like four touchdowns? I mean, is that is that crazy? All right, so... As I said, I ranked the opponents, 12 being the weakest team that Alabama will play during the 2019 season, all the way to the top team, which is number one. All right, at number 12, Western Carolina on November 23rd. That's a game right before Auburn. You know, Alabama always slides um, someone in there that, you know, they, they can play, get some competition, and uh, stay healthy, most importantly. So Western Carolina has been called up this year. Remember, last year was a Citadel. And remember, last year, Citadel brought it to Alabama. I mean, they were a touchdown away from... I think either tying or leading that game at halftime. It was crazy last year. All right. Um, so Western Carolina has a very good quarterback returning. I was digging into the numbers. Tyree Adams threw for 2,400 yards, 16 touchdowns. He also ran for 1,200 yards with 10 touchdowns, so 26 total touchdowns. Looks like a, a very dangerous player returning for Western Carolina. Michael Murphy is a defensive player to watch. Uh, defensive back who had 92 tackles last year with three interceptions. So two two very notable guys. Uh, last time the two teams met back in 2014 with Alabama winning 48-14. to 14. In 2012, the teams met as well. Alabama winning 49, Western Carolina 0. Before that, it was 2007, 52 to six Alabama won that contest as well. Number 11, New Mexico State Aggies. Hey, that's my alma mater. It's so crazy. I graduated from New Mexico State and now the Aggies are coming up to Tuscaloosa. It's it's uh it's awesome. You know, I know a lot of people who are coming out for that game and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the Aggies, I, I don't know if you know much about New Mexico State football, but here's the skinny on this matchup, right? They're probably one of the lower tier college football teams and just recently, they reached their first bowl game uh, in 57 years. But here's a skinny. The New Mexico State Aggies will be paid $1.7 million by Alabama for the early September meeting and will be paid again $1.9 million by Alabama when the Aggies headed Tuscaloosa again on 2021. The Aggies recently reached their first bowl game in 57 years during the 2007 season when they finished 7-6 and six overall. So you're talking about... New Mexico State, like I, when I was in college, the games at New Mexico State, I mean, you get like 12,000, right? Uh, basketball was a big thing in our area, and our coach was actually Reggie Thea, so the basketball was very good, and, and probably a little bit better than Alabama basketball, to be straightforward. Um, but but football, they just don't do football in Las Cruces, New Mexico. So them coming to play the pinnacle of college football, um, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, they're going to get blown out, but... 
it's going to be cool to rap with some uh, former uh, friends and family who are actually coming from Las Cruces to watch that game on September 7th. Notable players for the Aggies return Josh Adkins, 2,500 yards passing, 13 touchdowns on defense. Javon Ferguson, 132 tackles. Um, New Mexico State actually returns 13 starters total. And as I mentioned, it'll be the first time that the two teams meet will be this season. The number 10 team, um, and I'm running through, uh, number 12 is the weakest team Alabama will play. Number one is the toughest team Alabama will play. Remember, college students, hit me up for that promo. Kyle at BamaInsider.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the same, BamaInsider.com. Number 10, Southern Miss on September 21st. The skinny on this matchup. The two teams have not met since 2014, but have played a total of 42 times since 1947. The Crimson Tide are riding a five-game winning streak against the Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles return a very capable quarterback in Jack Abraham, who threw for 2,300 yards last season with 15 touchdowns. Now, Southern Miss returns 13 starters on both sides of the football, and notable player on defense is Kylie Hemblum who's a strong safety, 51 tackles with six interceptions. Last three meetings, 2014, Alabama won 52-12. to 12. Again, in 2005, Alabama won 30-21. to 21. Yeah, it's a pretty close game. Alabama actually had to vacate that game. In 2004, Alabama beat Southern Miss 27-3. to 3. Number nine, Arkansas Razorbacks on October 26th. Again, that game will be in Tuscaloosa. Arkansas looks to improve from their two-win season under now second-year head coach Chad Morris, but there is little reason to believe the Razorbacks have enough talent to beat Alabama for the first time since 2006. My goodness, 2006. Where were you in 2006? Sound off in the comment box. Jeez. The Razorbacks have put up a total of 70 points, though, against Alabama in the last three contests, which is very commendable. Then again, Alabama has scored 155 points in those three contests. Um, as mentioned, Chad Morris is the first-year coach. He was 2-10 and 10 last year. Arkansas returns 6 on offense, 5 on defense. Rakeem Boyd, 734 yards, is their player to watch on offense. Uh, Dejon Harris on defense at inside linebacker. He had 118 tackles. Last season, Alabama defeated Arkansas 65-31 to 31 in Fayetteville. Before that, in 2007, Alabama defeated Arkansas 41-9. And in 2006, Alabama beat up on Arkansas 49-30. All right, Ole Miss at number eight, and they, the two teams play on September 28th. Over the last two seasons, the Crimson Tide have beaten Ole Miss by a combined score of 128-10. to 10. The Rebels lose quarterback Jordan Tamu, who threw for nearly 4,000 yards last season, as well as lose A.J. Brown and D.J. Metcalf at receiver. The Rebels return most of their front seven on defense, but will have to replace nearly the entire secondary. You can imagine the Vegas Lions having Alabama as a three or four touchdown favorite come late September, head coach is Matt Luke, 11 and 13 after two seasons. They return 11 total players from last season. Looks like Matt Corral will be their quarterback, threw for 239 yards last year with two touchdowns. Uh, Mohamed Sango on defense, inside linebacker, 112 tackles. In 2008, Alabama beat Ole Miss 62 to 7. Remember, Ole Miss scored that first touchdown. And in in, I was there, it was at Oxford, and the crowd went crazy. They're like, yeah, we're doing it. And then 62 straight points from Alabama. Ouch. In 2007, Alabama beat up on Ole Miss 66 to 3 in Tuscaloosa. Ah, that was uh, Shea Patterson and, and his crew came in. And then in 2016, Alabama defeated Ole Miss. 48 to 43. But the two years before that, 2015 and 2014, Ole Miss beat Alabama. So Alabama's been mad, obviously, about those two losses and has really turned it up the last two years. Number seven, Duke. The Blue Devils in Alabama will play the opener in Atlanta, Georgia. Duke and Atlanta will meet for the first time since 2010 in Atlanta, Georgia. The Crimson Tide won the last matchup in 2010 by a score of 62 to 13. Duke was 8 and 5 last season, winning the Independence Bowl behind the arm of Daniel Jones, a quarterback who was drafted number 6 in the NFL draft by the New York Giants. While Vegas does not have early odds for this game, many college football experts are expecting the Crimson Tide as a heavy favorite. How could you not think that the Crimson Tide is going to roll in the opener? Um, returning starters on offense for Duke, 5, 9 on defense. Deion Jackson returns for Duke at running back, 847 yards with 7 touchdowns. Notable player on defense, Victor Dubuje, uh, defensive end, 42 tackles, 8.5 for a loss. And as I mentioned, Daniel Jones leaves to go play with the New York Giants. I was kind of shocked that the Giants made that pick. I thought it was Dwayne Haskins all day. But hey, you know, maybe, uh, I mean, I'm not an NFL scout, so... 
Um, if you're a Giants fan, I hope it works out for you. Number six, at Mississippi State on November 16th. Now, I have to say this. You know, I'm not from SEC country by any means. So going to all these games and to all these venues is completely brand new to me. A couple years ago, in 2007, I went to Stark Vegas. That was my first time. Uh, absolutely loved it. A little country town. Um, had some pretty good food. And the tailgate at Mississippi State was mind-blowing. I mean, the fans and the tailgate went for miles and miles and miles. And honestly, that is probably the loudest stadium Second loudest stadium that I've been to. I think I rate the the stadium loudness like LSU last year. That was bananas. And then number two, Mississippi State. Mississippi State, they they ring those cowbells. And they actually have a sign on their huge video board when it when you can't ring the cowbell. It's hilarious. It's like, you can do it now. You, can, you can't do it. it. It is so loud. And a couple years ago, oh, I mean, Mississippi State had Alabama on the ropes, right? Um, the Bulldogs were blanked last season by Alabama and Tuscaloosa, but the last time the Crimson Tide visited Stark Vegas, it was a narrow escape for Alabama, winning 31-24 to in a game that the Bulldogs really let slip away. This season, Alabama brought over two former assistants from Mississippi State, Charles Huff and Brian Baker. Huff coaches the running backs, and Baker coaches the defensive line. Remember last year, Mississippi State's defense was nasty. They were ranked number one in the country on defense. Um, Joe Moorhead is the coach, 8-5 and five after one season, 6 returning on offense, 3 returning on defense. Kylan Hill uh, returns 734 yards with 4 touchdowns on defense. Enroll Thompson at linebacker, 87 tackles last year, 24-0 in Tuscaloosa. 2007 season, it was 31-24. And in 2006, it was Alabama 51, Mississippi State 3. Ranking the top 12 teams uh, by competition level on Alabama's 2019 schedule. Thanks for listening today on the Talk of Champions podcast right here on the YouTube channel. All the coverage back at BamaInsider.com. My name is Kyle Henderson. Thank you for following all the coverage, and I hope you've enjoyed our 19 for 19 series right here on BamaInsider.com. At number five, South Carolina on September 14th. Last season, South Carolina was seven and six. The two teams have not played since 2010 when South Carolina beat Alabama 30. 30- 5 to 21 behind quarterback Steven Garcia, who bowled out throwing for 201 yards with three touchdowns. Alabama last beat South Carolina in 2009 by a score of 26, and before that, in 2005, in a game that Alabama had to vacate. This season, this contest will be the SEC opener for both teams, and you have to think Columbia will be rocking in anticipation for an early season upset. I mean, it's gonna be it could be a tough place to play for Alabama, right? On the road in South Carolina. I don't know. What, what do you think? Uh, Will Muschamp, who is the head coach after three seasons, 22 and 17, seven returners on offense, five on defense. Jake Bentley returns, 3,100 yards last season, 27 touchdowns. Very, very impressive. TJ Brenson returns at linebacker, 106 tackles. Number four is going to be Tennessee on October 19th. I have a feeling that Tennessee is going to be a very improved team under second year head coach Jeremy Pruitt. I, I thought. You know, last season, Alabama ran through them, but I saw some some positives overall when, when keeping an eye on Tennessee. I was interested, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to see how Jeremy Pruitt would do. Alabama's, you know, one of their most heated rivals. And I thought I, I saw a lot of positives from Tennessee. So I, I think that Tennessee coming to Alabama is going to be tough. You know, it's always challenging for them. I mean, geez, they haven't won, you know, in, uh, in several, several seasons. But, you know, I, I think that Tennessee is much improved. So Nick Saban will face off against his former defensive coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt, for a second time. Last season, the Crimson Tide rolled through Knoxville with a commanding 37-point victory. The Volunteers should be much improved in the 2019 season with 15 returning starters, as well as adding Alabama secondary coach Derek Ansley as their co-defensive coordinator. The third Saturday in October is always fun with the winning team lighting up the Stogies. I love that. I love the lighting up of the Stogies after the game, right? And even last year, Butch Jones was was smoking a cigar with the team. Man, that that hit social media and just took over. Um, special note, Tennessee has not been Alabama since 2006. Jeez. Tennessee returns their quarterback, uh, Jarrett Guatano, 1,900 yards with 12 touchdowns, and Darren Daryl Taylor at outside linebacker who had eight sacks. Last three meetings in 2018, Alabama won 58-21. 2007, Alabama 45, Tennessee 7. And in 2016, Alabama 49 to Tennessee 10. Auburn on November 30th. That's the number three game I feel will be the toughest this season for the Crimson Tide. Last season, Auburn was 8-5. and five. 
Gus Malzahn has found a way to beat Alabama in two of his six seasons at Auburn. The last time the Tigers defeated Alabama was in 2017 in Auburn by a score of 26-14, while Auburn's defense defensive unit looks very solid this season. Their offense has quite a bit of question marks, mostly surrounding the quarterback position. Last season's Iron Bowl featured 324 yards and five touchdowns by Tua Tungo Valoa. Head coach Gus Malzahn, 53-27 and 27 in six seasons. Returning starters on offense, six. Returning starters on defense, seven. Watch for Datarius Whitlow and Cam Martin, who ran for a combined 1,200 yards last season with seven touchdowns on defense. Nick Poe, who had seven sacks. Their defensive line should be should be nasty for Auburn. And, and a couple years ago, it was the same thing. And that um, they really ate up Alabama's offense, right? I mean, geez, that was, uh, that was a tough one. That was when... Alabama lost to Auburn 26 to 14 in a game that was, I mean, electric. Um, as mentioned, returning starters on defense seven and uh, last three meetings, 2018, Alabama 52, Auburn 21, 2007, Auburn 26, Alabama 14, and 2016, Alabama 30, Auburn 12. LSU on November 9th, I feel that'll be the second toughest game for Alabama during the 2019 season. The two SEC rivals will clash this season in Tuscaloosa and LSU. Looks to have enough firepower to really challenge the Crimson Tide, returning 15 starters from last season. In 2018, Joe Joe Burrow really struggled against Alabama, going 18 for 35 with a win interception. Tungo Valoa shined in Death Valley, going 25 of 42 with 295 yards, with two touchdowns, including that long touchdown run, right? Everyone was wondering about his knee, and then he rattles off that incredible touchdown run. Man, what a what a great scene that was in college football. By the way, going into Baton Rouge last year was electric. I cannot believe the college atmosphere. I mean, if I could do it over again, I probably would have went to a school like Alabama or LSU just because of that college pageantry. I mean, LSU really thought that they were going to beat the Crimson Tide last year. Remember Ed Orgeron getting off the bus all fired off? The The crowd was crazy. Like Death Valley, their stadium just goes vertical. Um, the decibels at that stadium were off the charts. Great atmosphere. And then Alabama just, just rolls right through. LSU winning 29-0. to zero. Um, Notable players for... LSU include Joe Burrow, who threw for 2,800 yards last year with 16 touchdowns. Eight starters returning on defense for LSU, including Grant Telbit, um, who I, I thought was a baller. He's a safety, nine pass deflections, five interceptions. Alabama has won the last eight meetings. Ed Ordron is our coach, 25 and two, 25 and nine, excuse me, over the last two seasons. Last three meetings, 2018, Alabama 28, LSU 0. 2017, Alabama 24, LSU 10, Alabama 10. 10 LSU 0 in 2016. So so the last two times it's been in Baton Rouge, the Tigers have been blanked. The last time LSU beat Alabama dates back to 2011 when the Tigers defeated Alabama 9-6 at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Now the number one team I feel will be Alabama's toughest competition during the regular season of 2019 will be Jimbo Fisher's Texas A&M Aggies when Alabama heads to College Station on October 12th. While Alabama has controlled the recent meetings between the two teams, going into a hostile environment like Kyle Field against an improved Texas A&M team won't be easy. Last season against Alabama, Aggie quarterback Kellen Mund had a field day against the Crimson Tide, rushing for 98 yards and also throwing for 200 yards. On the flip side, Tua Tunga Valoa was 22 of 30, 387 yards with four touchdowns. Head coach is Jimbo Fisher, 9-4 and four in his first season. Returning starters on offense, seven notable players, as mentioned, Kellen Mund, 3,100 yards with 24 touchdowns. Kid's a baller. Not a lot of people talk about him. He's very good. Returning starters on defense, four. They returned their defensive tackle who had uh, five sacks, 10-4 losses. So Alabama has won the last six meetings, but it would be a tough environment going to Kyle Field. 100,000 uh, fans. I mean, it, it should be um, – that's going to be a tough environment. Last three meetings, Alabama has controlled. 2018, Alabama 45, Texas A&M 23. 2007, Alabama 27, Texas A&M 19 in College Station. 2016, Alabama 33, Texas A&M 14. The last time the Aggies beat Alabama was in 2012 when the Aggies defeated the Crimson Tide 29-24. to What do you think? Sound off in the comment box. Who do you think will be Alabama's toughest three opponents during the regular season? I'm just talking regular season, right? I don't want to jump the gun and start talking SEC championship or playoff games. Just just looking at their schedule, 1 through 12, who do you think will be the toughest three opponents that Alabama will face? Sound off in the comment box. College students, hit me up for that college promo. We got a $10 cover charge right now for you that will get you in the door with 
access to BadmanInsider.com for the entire year for just $10. If you want to get behind that paywall, if you're out of college, go to BadmanInsider.com, sign up. Promo code is Roll Tide for free 30 days. What do you have to lose? Come be a part of the Talk of Champions Forum. Talk with me and the crew on BadmanInsider.com. Get your recruiting nuggets from the best in the business. Andrew Bone, you have nothing to lose. Hit me up at Kyle at BadmanInsider.com. I hope you have a great Thursday. I'll be back again tomorrow. I hope you guys have uh, a killer day. Be good people out there, and we will talk soon on BamaInsider.com. Coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This is the Talk of Champions right here on BamaInsider.com.